Here I'm going to show you how to make this 3D silicon mould to make this champagne bottle. So first I've placed about a centimetre's worth of clay on top of the card and that gives me a little distance from the card from my champagne bottle. Then I've started building the clay around the edges, making it very smooth and very clean around the bottle. So here I've used a little bit of clay to make a slightly raised part which actually will help stick the two silicon pieces together at the end. So now I'm going to build a box around the clay um, and just tidy up in the insides to make sure there's no gaps where the silicon slide down the side. There's many different silicons you can buy, food grade, non-food grade, they have all different setting rates. If you're looking for something that's a very detailed product, you might need a softer setting so you get all those elements and all those details coming out into your 3D mould. For this, for a bottle, I've, I've gone for a medium to soft set and this will make it release quite easily. So before I put the silicon in, I'm going to put some grease or release spray into the mould to stop the silicon from sticking to the bottle and to the clay. So now we've poured in the silicon, we now leave this best overnight, but it can be set in a few hours. So now we have our first half of the mould. We now have to clean off the bottle, clean off the excess clay from the mould, build another box around it, spray again with the release spray, and then fill another half with the silicon. I have removed the silicon from the box. And now we're ready to pour in chocolate to make a chocolate bottle. I now rotate the mould so the chocolate will rotate around the whole bottle. So to finish this bottle, I placed some white chocolate on a square of acetate and placed that on the bottle. It's gone into the fridge, then I've peeled the acetate away. To finish the top, I'm gonna to put some gold foil. So I've used the same technique on this mold. So like before, I've made a foam board box. I've stuck some children's letters to the bottom of the box onto the foam board, sprayed it with re release spray, and then flooded it with the silicone. So this is a one part mold, different to the two part 3D mold we've used to make lovely chocolate letters. Mm -hmm.